Welcome back to the Modern American Farming Map. And in the last episode, we were uh, just doing the headlands for field number nine. So let's get back there and get that combine started up again. Let's uh, turn him on. Talk dirty to him. See if that turns him on. And where's our truck? Here we are. Start his engine. Talking about winter, it seems like I saw... Now, why is he not unloading? What's going on? Did he turn himself off again when I jumped out? I think he did. Nope. He just wasn't finished doing what he was going to do. Uh, we're talking about um, winter time. And it seems like I noticed that Farming Simulator 2015 had a mod for making it winter. Let's check that out. If I, I I was skimming through mods, and I don't know if that's exactly what I saw. All right, now let's see. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I just goofed up big time. Field nine. Oh, I did. Never mind. Never mind. Start course recording. Field number nine. Okay. Let's let's see if he'll continue on with what we had him doing the last time. And this guy doesn't have a course set yet. We need to set him up a course. And let's take a look at the map because I want to make sure I get the best route back to the farm. So, let's see here. This was the corn, so this means that's the farm right there. Is that correct? Yeah, so what would be the quickest way to get back to the farm? See this? I don't understand why they put these big scars in the middle of the fields. I may have to take a plow and plow them up. To make it one big field again. I don't understand that. But anyway. There it is. So. Let's see. If I started the course in this corner. Had him come out. Uh, what would be the fastest way. To get back to the farm. This way. Maybe I just better drive it and find out. Okay, if I come out this way, which is the fastest way? That's the farm right there. Maybe not to go. I don't really want to go through the cornfield. Back out this way, maybe? Let's see if there's another break in the fence up here. Right here, I guess, is be the quickest way. Well, no, this isn't going to be. This is kind of squirrely to come this way. Um, yeah, this isn't going to be right. Uh, I, I'll have to take the road. I'll take the road right here and come in, I guess, this back way. Like this. And swing, swing around. Well... And back this way. So go out to the road, I guess, here. This is the road. All right. I got it figured out. I think. I think. I think. Now, wait a minute. Is there a break in the fence there? Oh, my God. There's a big break here. Well. Let's see if we can do this, then. Let's do it right here. Why not? All right. Let's start the course. Recording. And we'll 
we'll flip around. Head back this way. Probably not the best thing to do, but that's what we're gonna do. Is that is that um, marked through the field? Is that supposed to be because there's pipes and culverts running through the field? Because I noticed that that culvert lines right up with that cut. traffic around here first time I saw this road here I thought it was part of the farm and it kind of is but uh, I thought oh my god they got traffic driving right through your farm now but that's not quite right okay so uh I'm debating what to call this. Um, harvest field. This isn't the harvest though. The track the combine would be the harvest. Uh, truck to farm nah, uh, truck field nine. I don't know, I'm messing this up, but Oh well, that's the way it's going to be, what can I say? Let's see if he works though. Drive now, goofing around. Come on, quit fooling around. He fooled around and fell in love. That's going to take a lot of work. Plowing up all the field. That. I knew the job was dangerous when I took it. Well, we'll follow this guy around, make sure he works. And then we gotta get the weed off of this, and we have to get the corn harvested. Because a farmer's work is never done. We already know that. And there goes the wheat. I like that big icon on the side. That's kind of cool. Although, I wonder why it stops. Uh, oh, there it goes. it goes again. It must take a minute to catch up or something. Huh, weird. It's kind of weird <laughs> from Farming Simulator 15. I keep looking at these trees, trees thinking I need to get a chainsaw and cut them down. <laughs> you got a wide variety of trees there. It's like, you know, ash, oak, <laughs> and all in one place. Say, who planted that? Ash, oak, burk. Fur, uh, poplar, just scattered around everywhere. You're not going to see that track tr uh, the combine over there, are you? Oh, come on. It's over there. Is this going to have a problem because of those green patches? 
that it doesn't think it's on one field. Let me see if I can let me see if I can kind of point him in the right direction here and say okay there's your combine do your job there he goes he's gonna drive behind a combine that doesn't mean it's gonna work all right well I'm gonna let him go to work and I'm gonna get this guy out of the field I'll get this guy out of the field Whoa. Okay, yeah. Let's just uh, park him over here for now. On this little dirt road. Alright. And then let's pull... We'll pull... Corny off the, ground, off the road. Named him Corny. Corny. Oh, no. Not again. Again, drop that before you can start the thing up. That's just retarded. Okay. And we'll park him out of the way. Let's just put him over here. For now. And he won't turn off until you drop it. That's just crazy. Okay, Caterpillar, let's go to work. We're gonna squoosh. We're gonna squoosh this silage down, this chaff. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn my hood on so I can see what I'm doing. I thought this was full, but it's only 68% full. Oh, well. That's weird, because it seemed to me like when I did this, it said... Uh, yeah, I, th I thought it said something about you can't put any more here. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of something else. I know it was kind of hard to load, because, you know, the truck could get stuck if you're trying to back up. It's not like the ones you can drive over and put it in smoothly. I don't know what these things weigh, but they sure look like a heavy piece of equipment. All right, he's done, so let's uh, let's blanket it. All right, one down, one to go. I'd love to drive one of these things. They'd be fun, wouldn't they? To drive through a parking lot at Walmart with one of these. Sorry, looking for a parking spot. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to run over your car. Oh, gee, sorry. That's what you get for driving a Prius. You can get yourself one of these. I don't think that I got this one as full as I got that one. No, it's only 71%. Oh well, I was getting tired of doing corn. Sixty-five percent. Whoa! I did actually jump. I was wondering if I did. That was cool. It sure looked like I did the first time. Let me try again. Let's see if I can make it do it. Okay, go. Let's see if I can make this guy jump like Dukes of Hazard. What? He did. <laughs> I love it. Can't do it going backwards because he's too heavy. All right. Enough for that one.
Let's see, how is he doing? He's doing okay, I guess. He has uh, fences on only two sides on this field. Oh, this truck's just going to mess it all up. Oh, maybe not. I jumped to conclusions on that one. I still have a little bit of jet lag from that trip yesterday. And uh, by jet, I mean car lag. I need to take a nap. Wow, it's going to unload the whole thing. Good job.
Well, for some reason, I had a little bit of trouble with the chorus play there. I couldn't get that combine to keep to start up again after we got to the end. So actually, it's a hired driver now. I don't know what was going on. He stopped at the end of the field and wouldn't get going again. I don't know. I wonder if I try to stop him now. Get back here. And tell him to drive the course. Is he going to do anything? Well, it looks like he's going to, but that's kind of weird. Kind of missing a spot there. I don't know what that was kind of weird. I don't get it. I do not understand it. But then there's a lot of things in life I don't understand. I don't understand how you can buy a uh, ice cream sandwich at Walmart, put it in the sun, and it doesn't melt. Well, that seems to be working now. Let's let it go, I guess. Okay, let's see. What? Let's get the Starship Enterprise out. Because we do need grass and we need oh 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 no 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 I'm doing stop him I'm doing wheat and um I should be uh doing the not doing the chopper um what is that the key the comma key this does the chopper. Yeah, because I need the straw. Doggone it. Well, I didn't lose much of the field. Some of it. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, see, I was doing soybeans before, and I don't think you get chafed with soybeans, but I could be mistaken. I rarely am. Ah! That's a joke little one. Alright, now it seems like I saw a field that had um, where was I at that I saw the field of grass that had the that had the fence around it. I wasn't too far away from the farm, I don't believe. I think I mentioned it in the last episode. I said, oh, there's a field that I think you can mow. But I don't remember where I saw it. Where did I see it? When man, this guy turns on a dime and gives you a nickel back and change. Was I? Uh, was I driving that? I was driving that uh, caterpillar from the from the store, and I think I passed a field. Was that it? And I passed a field that had a fence around it, and I said, "Oh well, yeah, that'd be a good one to uh, mow." Mow and curly, and three stooges. Uh, there's a big field of grass. What's that? Wow. Is that mine? Does that belong to me? I don't know. Alright, is this a field? This is a field of dreams. It doesn't say it's a field. So it's going to have to be a manual mow. Um, okay, that's fine, I guess. The way to do it, though, would be to do it as a, as a course play route. We could actually... We could actually do it 
Like it's shaped kind of different, but let's see if we start in this corner and run it maybe this way along the fence because that fence is going to be an issue. So let's get this thing strung out so we know how wide we need. We'll start in this corner and we're just going to do a course play route of uh, field work and let's turn this on turn the mower on is uh, left button X and is everything down everything's down I believe so if we start recording and oh shoot that so we start the recording let's back it up so we can see what we're doing and we're going to take off like a herd of turtles here in wow when you mow this looks like a golf course See if we can keep it on the straight and narrow. Now, see, this is where the GPS mod would be good, but I've never used it, and I've never had a real big uh, overwhelming desire to use it. A lot of people use it. I thought it was bad enough I used course play all the time, but a lot of people do use it. I see people using it in Farming Simulator 15 now too. I just, like I said, I've just never had a big uh, uh, desire to get it and use it. I don't know what to call this field since it doesn't have a number. I think that's the pig farm over there, so I could I could just say Mo Pig Farm. And uh, maybe that's what I'll do. I don't want to get too close to the fence because course play might not quite you know, take that swing as easy as I did and if so it's going to hit the fence so I got a little bit close on that turn I need to watch that and I debated whether to go lengthways or not but it's a funny shaped field so cat was slipping. What? Oh, he got knocked over. Slipping my rear. Look at that. A cat's laying on his side over there. And the combine's all askew, too. But I can't do anything about it because I can't stop this course. I don't think. I don't want to try it, anyway. I want to get this course done because this, this is... Me uh, you know, this is... Uh, boring as it is going up and down, up and down, up and down. I don't want to stop and have to do it all again. I only want to do this once. So the combine stuck on the tractor, the, uh, the truck, and the truck's on its side. It was probably knocked over by the combine. They just can't get along. They can't work together. 
this has got such a wide cut it won't take very long to finish this I want to get it done Oh, I cut that one a little close too. City fences. You know the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. You know they always say that, but what if the other side of the fence is gravel or tarmac or something? Then the grass wouldn't be greener on the other side of the fence, and that saying wouldn't work, would it? Try to stay away from the fence. Cut it a little bit. Yeah, I'd make that turn wasn't very good. But I'm not gonna go back and redo it. Oh, watch what you're doing. I was looking at my other computer. Silly, silly, silly. Oh well, this is free grass all anyway, so you know. If I miss a couple of a feet of it. So be it, I guess. <laughs> it looked like a mower coming in for a landing. Where's the landing lights? There they are. I like that it's got lights on the end of the mower. That's cool. The cutting blades. That's really cool. And they're decent lights. Look at the uh, app, the uh, uh, animation on them. They're not just light. They got they're like a, a real one. The animation's really good. Yeah, whoever did those did a good job. All right, I'm mowing on a hill now. Everything's sideways. I'm sliding off my seat. I almost lost it. I was going to stand up salute that flag up there. Uh, one more pass. I think I'll call it a, a job done on this one, on this uh, field. I don't need to get up in that corner up there. And I don't want to get too close to those, to that silo thingy. So we'll just make this pass call it, uh, call it good. Stop it there. Uh, stop the course. Mo pig farm. There we go. All right, what's going on? Turn off more. X. Fold more. A. Oh, we're going to put the uh, arms back in. Alright. Okay, let's just park this guy off to the side. Like this. And then let's go get these guys straightened up here. Goodness gracious. Can I move? Stop the driver. I can't move him. I'm stuck. 
Uh, am I in the truck? No wonder I'm in the truck. Okay, stop this driver. Let him drive. Can I get loose? Let him go. Just let go. Come on. Be good. No, now they're both stuck. Oh, he's going to ram him right into the fence. Come on. Let go. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Ah. Oh, I'm going to have to do it the hard way. Doggone it all. All right. So let's... Uh, I don't want to do the harvester. I want to do the truck. Which would be... Where is he? Right there. All right. Let's see if I'm going to have to do the trailer. No, I think that'll let me loose. All right, let's see if I can get him started on the course and get back to that trailer before... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they got stuck. It's that fence. They can't get... They get close to the fence, and they have to make a wide turn, and they run right into the fence, and then the combine slams right into him. Dang fence. I don't know what the fence is keeping out anyway. It's farmland. I mean, it's not like... Not like the fence is keeping anything in or out. You're not uh, you're not grazing cattle on it. It's just farmland. I mean, yeah, really. What's that fence keeping in or out? Obviously, it's not keeping anything in, but it's not really keeping anything out either. Because it wouldn't keep wildlife out. Uh, if there's deer or elk around, they'd jump that fence. They wouldn't even have to jump. They could walk right over it. Okay, so what did we call that? We called it Truck Field 9. Go do your business. All right, he's straightened. That didn't take long. Okay, we need a uh, tractor. Let's just use... Well, he's hooked up to something. Let's use the one that's not hooked up to anything. And we want to grab that rig over there. Yeah, now see, the arms of the farmer doesn't work in this 19 and in farming simulator 15 their arms uh, steer the tractor that's cool cool beans all right let's take a look at these beacons now see those beacons they don't really look like real beacons it's got a yellow light that kind of flashes around the ones that were on the uh, starship enterprise on the end of the wing they actually you could actually see the the um, light shine out away from the beacon like a real one would. And we're off to the big farm. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Before we do that, we need to figure out where the silo is for grass and straw because we're going to need to set up a course for that. Let's see how that works. This is poo. Alright, that's where you sell straw. I wonder if you can sell hay there too or just straw. Alright, so where is it here? Nope. 
Is it down here? Nope. Where in the... Where's our storage for... Hey. Hey! Where's the storage? No, really. Where is it? it was it inside a building? No. I can't... I don't know what that is. I can't remember. It's like gravel or something. Uh, there's where the potatoes get dumped. That's for animals. No, really, where's the hay go? Huh. I don't remember. Maybe it goes in the main, in the main silo, just like uh, wheat and soybeans and stuff a doodle do. Well, let's just go get a load and find out where it goes. It's the only thing we can do. It's all we can do. Can't do no more. Alright, is he not working again? Doggone it all. He can't find his combine again. Are you kidding me? You don't know where your combine is? This is getting old. I may have to set up two courses because I don't know. He should be able to see him. Can he not see it across this grass here? Is that stopping him as far as the course goes? Is he seeing that as two separate fields? If that's the case, that's another good reason to uh, plow up that little patch of grass. Well, we'll get this loaded, and we'll take it back to the farm and find out where we're supposed to dump it. And then, the next time, we will make a course to combine with the course to pick it up and try to automate it. Work around these fences here. I like these case tractors, but they're just too vanilla, if you know what I mean. Now, I like them. They're just, I don't know. It's, I, I don't know what I mean by that. Vanilla. Because they are vanilla, part of the game. Okay, so let's see. We're going to do one of those. And we're going to do mow the pig farm. And drive the course. There we go. Oops pick up that grass. Wee-haw! Well... Yeah, I was kind of worried about that, but uh, if you're going to have it automated, you're going to miss some grass. I don't think that's going to mount to too much in the long run. I won't worry about it. With this wider swath, it helps anyway. It gets more than it would have anyway. On this mod for this forage wagon. I love a game that has decent mods because it really helps you to enjoy the game. Um, take Farming Simulator for example. If you just had Farming Simulator and you had the, just the one farm, you know, after you've played that farm for a little bit, wh what are you going to do that's different? If, if you're playing like on, you know, PS1 or Xbox, uh, you know, that, you don't, if you don't have mods, your game is done and you don't play it again. 
until five years go by and you think, well, I'm going to go back and play that game because it's, because I haven't played it for so long I forgot what it was about. With the mods, you can play it over. You get a new map, you get new tractors, you get new combines. You know, it really, really extends the life of the game and the fun, in my opinion. Alrighty, well, we're going to call it an episode here. And when we come back, we will continue with our farming. In the meantime, happy farming to you, and I'll see you then.